Arnold, let's get straight into the kind of activity that came through in yesterday's session and what kind of tone's been set for the trading week ahead. Arnold, can you hear me? Hi, Alicia. Yeah, I can. Perfect. Let's go through the kind of performance that came through on the markets yesterday and the kind of tone that's uh, been set as a result for the trading week ahead. Okay, um, Alicia, I think uh, basically what we're seeing, I think there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, a strong trend, I think, in, in, in the big caps. I think mainly, I think we're seeing a lot of uh, demand coming through, I think, from the foreign end. Uh, we saw Econet, I think, hitting a, a year high at, uh, at a price of around 4.85 cents uh, a share. Uh, this is a year-to-date high for, for Econet. And, and basically, I think it's been driven on the back of, I think, uh, we're now in the sort of uh, period when they're about to announce their results. And there's more expected from Econet. And basically, it's like your benchmark for our market, it and, and Delta. I think uh, we should see uh, more demand continue coming through from there. And going through into the week, I think we, we expect uh, the, the key drivers to be mainly the, the, the big caps um, as more, more and more people buy into those. Uh, Delta and Econet, as you know, they haven't re released their results and they're in that period when they're about to release their results. So we will find uh, the demand will center around those two counters mainly mm -hmm. and as well as the other key 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 blue chips. Oh, key to that is in score. I mean, let's take a look at uh, that activity. We had uh, this uh, share price gaining to around about that 76 cents mark, uh, representing the only movement uh, along with Econet amongst the big caps yesterday. So what's driving sentiment on that front, Arnold? Um, I think for, for InScore, mainly it's the results. I think the results are quite strong. And then also um, uh, uh, in connection with that, there's also um, um, the announcement that there's, there's likely to be an unbundling uh, process going through as they try to take out uh, uh, unpack uh, the spa brand, which, which has been um, actually uh, dragging the whole group down in terms of, 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 of the losses it's been making. Um, but otherwise, in, in terms of INSCO, I think it's mainly the dividends that it came up with and, and the results are quite strong. Um, and you know, going into the festive season, um, I think the, the market is expecting more and more, um, I think, to, 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 to be a play in, in that counter. And it seems to be uh, an effect that's rubbing off on a player like uh, OK, a player like Makels Africa as well. Yes, uh, I think basically uh, the contagion, basically, they are all in the same sector. Um, for OK, basically, I think it's, it's now come up as, as the strongest in terms of, of that space. Um, there's a lot of uh, activity and demand coming through. Uh, the market is expecting more, more to happen within uh, that sector. For Mikuls, again, you, you, they already tied up a, a, a transaction and they, they've teamed up with Pick and Pay. I think the market has received that uh, strongly and they, they're positive about the, that move. So we should see more, more and more uh, demand coming through Mikuls uh, from that perspective.